Hello everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth. Welcome back to my channel. If you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Make sure you subscribe and it's just a way of showing me that you appreciate my content and that you would like me to, you know, to come back to you with more videos. So on today's video, we're going to watch uh, a video from African Tigress that I've just discovered and I, I, I think I, I love her already. Um, it's an African-American Mandigo emotional after visiting slave uh, featuring the happy companion all right so the happy companion must be uh, another youtuber i guess so let's get straight into this video and see what it's all about <clears throat> where is uh where is this which country i guess we're going to see but I love it because I think it's nice to know history is very important. It's part of our lives and it's nice to know, uh, you know, um, about all these things, slavery, you know, and, and it's important to see. But I have no idea where this is, which country this is. Mm, oh. This looks like the Senegal, you know, slave site looks i've seen this before in a documentary it looks like the you know the the what do you call it the the road of no return or the window of no return or something like that so that's my first guess looks like senegal which was colonized by the french so let's see let's see So this is a slave house too? Uh, this is the entrance. Now, oh. this is a former museum for women. This was a okay, museum. now uh, we are in the slave house, in the special room of weighing, weighing slaves. I don't think I'm ready to watch. Um, this is a very sensitive topic for me, but I guess I was studying I have to go through. Can you just hear what he just said? Um, a place for weighing slaves. So that means that the slaves, I guess, you needed to have a certain um, weight. And, and so, of course, the more you weighed, the stronger you were, the more expensive you were. And I know that um, there were some places where, I mean, if you didn't attain a certain weight, then they would put you in a special room where, you know, you were fed. You know, you were actually fed as much as possible. So you could, you know, you could attain um the best weight possible for you to be to be exported so my goodness to be sold in slavery i mean let's say things they are because the room is was called the room for weighing slaves mm -hmm. because they used to weigh men not girls not, not women not, not infants they used to weigh only men why because they, they, they men were supposed to get this uh, the, the right weight of 60 kilo of, of weight to become soldable, to become a good slave, you should be six kilo or more, no less. Okay. Less than six kilo, you have to be fed. Oh, you see. Okay, so I know we're in Senegal right now because the documentary I I watched was about uh, Senegal, and yeah, okay. The special cell I will show you. Uh, okay, the cell name the cell of the temple. Mm -hmm. So here they they used to gather old family to welcome every family that came, to split them afterwards in different cells we'll see downstairs. And even the Pope John Paul II came <clears throat> and he stood by the door of no return mm, and, and yeah, asked for... Okay, yeah. Yeah, the door of no return, not the window. Okay, yeah. Oh my goodness. It's so painful when you think about it, about all these people our ancestors who had to go through that and you know living away being separated from their families because in this type of houses so when you arrive as a family and so the men were taken to one cell the women and the children into one cell some women were raped um and so on and so on so it really destroyed families and i guess if you refused um you know to to embark on the boat or the ship whatever you want to call it um then you were locked up again in a in a very small cell and it was like it was hell it was hell and so many people died even before embarking because of you know the mistreatment once uh, and then of course uh, they died out of hunger of sicknesses so you can imagine how um, you know they would just 
uh, the contagious diseases would, you know, uh, really spread all over the house and kill so many people, you know, so. Forgiveness on behalf of the Christian church, mm -hmm. Catholic church, uh, because of the implication of uh, certain tribal chiefs in these tracts. So now uh, we are in the slave house, as you can see, as shaped. Let us move a little bit to see the, the broad shape of the slave house mm -hmm. facing the door of no return. This door of no return, empty door, you see, of no return. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and while uh, down says, so we had, okay, cells from right to left, cell for men. You have after the cell for kids, the cell okay. for the uh, girls, young girls, and between the two stairs, okay, and there's two stairs, okay, the cell mm -hmm. for the, the, the rebels. Oh, and by the way, side note, this is something that I love when I'm visiting a place. I love uh, getting a guide. First of all, I mean, it's good for the country's economy, and second of all, they have so much knowledge that you cannot know so much if you visit a place all by yourself. It's impossible, you know, and most of them have a card because I think people are just scared of, you know, the guy telling you nonsense and, you know, and just inventing stuff. But no, when you get a, a certified guide, you know, for a fact that he knows what he's talking about and you will come out of that with a lot of, you know, information and things that you would never, ever, ever, you know, find out if you visit it alone. And after you have the cell for the temple, you know, those who do not fit the 60 kilo of weight. Mm -hmm. And after you have uh, the, the, the cell for, for women. Okay. And, and by the door of no return, you had two big corridors, which were a sort of uh, living rooms where they were uh, expect, expecting okay, their, their, their doom to be, to be sealed. So uh, the two last, last corridors were occupied by the slave guards. And the slave guard is someone mm -hmm. who has lost his family, who has been a long time here. With, yeah, and I think the, before he continues, I think the slave guards were actually Africans themselves. So in this case, Senegalese themselves. And so they were just like, and I remember from what I know, they were very tough to their brothers, to their African brothers. And they would just, for them, they felt superior to, in a way, to the, to the slaves, you know. And they would just look up to their masters because they were treated better because they had to So. It's when you look back at it, I guess it was just a survival. That's how I would explain it. It was to them a survival uh, technique for them. You know, it's survival for the fetus because you don't want to be sold into slavery. And so they had to they had to be in the good books, you know, uh, from their masters as well, because they were also they also had masters. And I guess they would rape so many women. And yeah. Terrible. These are being sold, and now they liberated, liberated them to recruit them again to a new for them to become uh, soldiers, guards, to maintain order and even sometimes right. kill their own people. So, upstairs mm -hmm. were living slave masters. Slave masters were living upstairs, their life of luxury mm -hmm. without taking care of uh, all, 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 all the problems that are happening. People, uh, kids were, which were babies who were crying, they did not care about all that. And after you have... Oh, the view, though. It's beautiful. But I guess not back in the days. It was a, hor it was a horrific uh, situation for for the people. Okay, the balcony. Okay, I'll talk. So we'll see, well, we'll see all, all these places. So, so we had the historians, they calculated some uh, 15 to 20 million of slaves that transited by Gore, remained here for one month oh, to three many? months. So we had the historians, they calculated some uh, 15 to 20 million of slaves. That trans 20 to 50 billion? Did he say billion or million? I guess billion. The transit, oh my goodness. <gasps> wow. Did it by Gore, remained here for one month to three months uh, before taking the boat to go. Uh, so, but 6 million were reported to be, uh, to die. To, mm -hmm. to be dead, uh, to be dead uh, because of uh, bad treatments, because of diseases and things mm -hmm. like that. And scurvy was the most uh, threatening disease that killed many people. 
the food currency of C vitamin. So people cannot feed themselves and they will des their destiny was to die. Flash punishment which appeared in the black coat, it means that every slave that refused to obey his master was likely to be okay punished. Mm. Whipped twenty nine times. Even the pregnant women they had to dig only okay the hole. How cruel. That was so cruel. Like ah oh, pregnant women as well were whipped regardless. Regardless. They were whipped, you know, and and I guess a pregnant woman was even more valuable because if they gave birth then to a child and the child would, you know, of course be a plus to the master and stuff like that. But terrible. On the ground. Mm. Okay, she lies down on the ground. Oh, wait a minute. Did he wait a minute, let me just come back a little bit. Whipped twenty nine times. Even the pregnant women. They had to dig only, okay, the hole on the ground. Okay, she lies down. Okay, I heard it right. <laughs> what? I mean, as a pregnant woman, woman, if you didn't respect your masters, then you had to be whipped altogether, regardless. But then you had to dig the hole so you could place your belly um, in the in the ground. My goodness, it's terrible. To hide the belly, and then they will the stomach, and they will beat her on the back 29 times. So this was the, the law, because according to their philosophers, their thinkers, okay, the black black man is they had the, this racist attitude. They say that the black man is in the rate of value is under the ape. They have they have this chance they use. To have for slaves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this iron ball, I will tell you. Oh, yeah. About more than 10 kilos. Yeah, yeah. So. Fix it at one. Yeah, you see the, the iron ball, of course, they would like just exactly what we've, we see in films, actually. You know, so it just drags them, or you can't, if you escape, then you cannot go very far because the, the ball is holding you back. If you decide to jump into the water, you will drown. So there was no escape, um, escape zone. There was no escape, escaping opportunity, you know, for for the slaves. So they were, you know, they were doomed. I would say, you know, in a way to to just go and be sold in slavery. Ankle to prevent the slave from escaping, mm. from swimming, otherwise he will drown. Mm. So now starting by, <coughs> by a. Uh, Starting by um, an example of of cell for men, so you can enter. So men were kept here in this tiny space. It's a standard cell measuring two meters and half, cross two meters and half, where they could have just one 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 window here to for to get fresh air, and they were chained arm and feet kept here all, all, all day long except one hour or two for strolling outside, accompanied by, by those slave guards who will take care of them mm. uh, to go to the toilet. Now, they were prisoners. Prisoners for what? For what? What did they do? What? Just because, um, you know, they were black, that was the crime. And still is today um, in the society we live in, especially when you see what's going on in the United States and, and places all over the world. So that was a crime. It but past this time of strolling outside, if they needed to go to the toilet, they had to do it on the spot. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, infection was so common that mm -hmm. many diseases started from this, uh, this same place. So here you could have some 15 to, to, to 30, 15 to 30 slaves in this tiny room, mm -hmm. like this one also. So all these are standard rooms, standard cells for men. Measuring two meters and half, cross two meters and half, and here infants. Oh. Just imagine the, the the small children being separated from their parents, being alone, um, in such a cell. Ah, oh, it's terrible. Infants, but I will start with, uh, with the one of 
girls and after so girls, jeune fille in French. Mm -hmm. So these girls were named the privileged between brackets because it was the only cell with toilet inside, covered by this stone. And each night, slave masters who were living upstairs were getting down, uh, downstairs to fetch these girls, rave them. If they happened to be pregnant, they were liberated, taken into um, small houses, uh, closed houses in Gora Island and, and St. Louis to take care of their health. So once Okay, the baby is born. If it's the male, they say mulatto. If it's the girl, they say signar. That, that's who was born. Okay, the signar. Also, oh, the girls were actually raped by the slave masters. Slave masters, yeah, so, because they, they were got uh, got pre pregnant by the slave masters. Mm -hmm. Now, to, to gain this uh, freedom, okay, they, they needed they needed to uh, to have uh, contact with these white men. The virgin, virgin, mostly virgin. They, they were mostly virgin. But they were young, young girls, yeah. But mostly. You can imagine for the young girls who I can I can just imagine they were 13, probably less, 11, they would fall pregnant. That's That was the only way for them to, you know, to obtain freedom and, you know, and they, of course they would stay, remain married maybe to the masters. I don't know. Um, Virgin girls, because for them, yeah. But it was also in their mind to say that this, I was the one, or the first one, yeah, to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, infants, age 5 to 12 years old, okay, they were um, separated from their fathers and mothers and lying here on the floor. Okay, they had just one rope to hide their sex. Oh, but for real, guys, uh, you know, side note, because I think this is the most difficult video that I've done so far. And I'm so thankful to you, um, you know, African Tigris, because it, it, the, the quality of your video is just amazing. I don't know which camera you're using, but I love because you're capturing very extremely important, you know, levels. And if you like art, look at this, you just see the different shades and colors and you know, you can actually just, you know, see so many details. So, good job. Good job. Suffering from constant diseases and and and, uh, uh, and bad conditions of detention here. Mm -hmm. And we could have some 30 kids um, suffering from diseases like scurvy, like, uh, mm -hmm. like uh, malaria, <clears throat> like typhus also and dying in numbers, with the death rate nearly equal to 33%, mm -hmm. the highest death rate you can have here in this house. Mm -hmm. Poor guys. That's why they call it air. And now here, the temporary inept. Here, the temporary inept, why? Because it was dedicated to those slaves that did not reach the 60 kilo of weight. Okay. That had they had they to um, they, they had to feed, to feed right. with local. Yeah, bread. that's that's exactly what I said. Yeah, I know that because they had to feed the slaves, you know, just stuff them, and then when they attain the 60, did he say 60 kilos? That was the minimum. Then they were soldable. Named Nyebe, rich in protein, for them to grow. Uh, within one month to three months, because it was the legal stay for a slave, one month to three months. And here, mm -hmm. this special uh, uh, cell is that of the recalcitrant oh, okay. in French, yeah. the stubborn. Exactly. So that's a, a very small cell where those who disobeyed or those who didn't want to travel would be locked up in that room for days until they accept to. So most of them probably just died in there and yeah, or they had to say as long as the longest time possible until they accept to leave. It was like punishment for them. Those, those rebels, those rebels which mm -hmm. were sold already but did not want to get on board a ship. Now for, for, uh, for punishment they were kept here and they used to close it with an iron barred door. Okay. So uh, five to seven of them kneeling and entering inside. Liberated only, uh, only one time a day like the others and uh, that was uh, their they, they, um, their fate to accept or, or die. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Nelson Mandela at his liberation from prison in 
South mm -hmm. Africa, came here in 1991. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he wanted to... And I can imagine Nelson Mandela could relate because he was locked up for 28 years um, in a cell for 28 years. And I believe that's the reason why he, today he's like, you know, the... He's a legend because he underwent so much just to free his country. And I'm so grateful that African, young Africans are now coming in, you know, and just changing the African narrative and showing a different picture to the world about Africa. And sites like these are very important because they just show Africans where they're coming from and where, and so they can, you know, just build Africa as, again, I would say, and, you know, make it much better. To enter after they, they explained him what, 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 what did happen here. Mm -hmm. uh, he wanted to enter, but the protocol said no because yeah. of his age okay. to dare to bow. Okay, they didn't have him to feel pain. So he forced the protocol. At length, he did enter. He remained there at the bottom for some minutes. He got out with tears because moved by mm -hmm. the, uh, the, the, the reminiscence of Robben Island, where he did stay a uh, good deal of his life, 27 years mm -hmm. okay, in prison. Yeah, we had some particular tribe like the Yoruba. Okay. The Yoruba was the, the, the most rated uh, tribe you could have. Oh my goodness, I love this guide. <laughs> he knows what he's talking about. I just love his vibe. Um, you know, he's, um, we need such people who can tell you know our stories and precisely as it is, we can see he knows what he's talking about. So good job, <laughs> sir. Yeah, good job. Uh, that's why uh, for them, uh, having one, one Yoruba in one's group uh, was, a, was a sign of riches because mm -hmm. they were stronger, muscular, muscularly uh, speaking. So they were the stronger, more resistance. Mm -hmm. It was the most uh, uh, purchased um, race. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that, the Yoruba. Okay, I have no, I had no idea that, you know, they were the strongest, so they were, of course, more... There was a high demand for for that tribe. And here you have the cell for for women. Women were kept here, and they they used to practice here some crossbreeding with the Yoruba. Oh, the the Yoruba. What do you mean crossbreeding? What do you mean? What? They're not animals, for God's sake. What do you mean crossbreeding? Oh my goodness. Like seriously, seriously, crossbreeding. Oh my goodness. So that's why um, I can understand why people, um, you know, there's like a sort of revolution, you know, because when you see how humans, Africans were treated back in the days and you can still see that the same things keep happening today. You can actually understand why people are so angry and mad. And yeah, change has to take place. We're all humans. You know, we all die someday. You know, just live your life. Let me live mine. And, you know, everything goes on. Life goes on. So, my good. Did he just say crossbreeding? Self for, for women. Women were kept here. And they, they used to practice here some crossbreeding with the Yoruba. Oh, the so Yoruba. Here, they used to, to, to practice a crossbreeding. Just... You see, even African the Tigris thought she had heard wrong. <laughs> no, you didn't, girl. You didn't. He said crossbreeding. This is the room for ladies. For ladies, they used to invite, they, they, they used to take here ladies and invite Yoruba, Yoruba men, to copulate with this by force with these ladies to have this crossbreeding to give strong okay. children. So this is uh, what, they, what they used to do. Yeah, because the Yoruba was the strongest, so they wanted, you know, you know, to fabricate, um, you know, Yoruba children so they would have more money, you know, just by forcing the Yoruba men to sleep with the women, um, you know, make them pregnant. And, of course, the children would go into slavery. My goodness. So inhuman. And now we go to yeah 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 like animals yeah and here the door of no return and first you have these two corridors mm -hmm. the two corridors was uh, as I told you earlier okay this uh, 
waiting rooms where they were kept and chained arm and feet. And they were kept uh, chained, chained arm and feet. And they were uh, also uh, branded with hot iron. Okay, with the, with the, with the identification. You know, crossbreeding, a term that we only hear when it comes to animals or plants, then um, the iron mark again with animals, but doing it to humans, really, really. Uh, identification uh, with the names of the owner. Uh, but yeah, back, yeah, 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 you're back. Yeah, you're back. You're back. Give me a hug. Right, you're back. That's a very strong moment because I guess when you visit such a place, you're you just you just get emotional, and I understand hundred percent. That is a justification that nobody can can wipe out the blood. So you, you got are it. at the door of no return. At the door of no return, yeah. But you return. Yeah, you right. return, yeah. I return, my sister. That's right. And I ain't going back. Okay, so this must be the Happy Companion. All right. Oh, you're right. Happy Companion Tours, Discover the Gambia. Right. Okay. All right. So that's the Happy Companion. So nice to meet you too. I guess I will check him out and see what he does as well. Oh, wow. Let me just end this one here. This was like the most difficult reaction video that I had to do, but I'm so grateful I got to get to the end. It was very emotional and uh, just like the outro says, never again. So never again. And let's, you know, let's build Africa as Africans by Africans and let's change the narrative. And so, so thank you so much, African the Tigers and also the Happy Companion for, you know, that was a complete tour. I was there with you guys. I was just there every single step of the visit. And so, yeah, so I hope to see you again next time. Make sure you subscribe and see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.